Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to the channel. Today's video is a product review for a long time show sponsor, Autovox. Last time I reviewed one of the products, it was for a wireless backup camera and everybody threw a lot of shade at that camera system saying that there was just too many wires. So they redesigned the entire system, made a whole new system that has only two wires. <sighs> two wires guys, come on. I think we can all do this. So I'm gonna go ahead, I went back, I read all the comments of what you guys wanted to see in a backup camera, and today we are gonna do a full-blown stress test on the brand new Autovox backup camera system. And stay tuned for the end of the video where I will be giving away this unit right here. So if you guys like what you see, definitely jump down to the link description and you guys can pick one up on sale or you guys can wait to the end of the video and there will be a contest and you guys can win it. Let's go ahead, talk about what's inside the box and then start reviewing this product. Let's talk about what comes inside the new camera kit. As you guys can see here, it is a lot less wires. And starting from the right to the left, you have the power cord that is going to be powering up the LCD display within the car. And then this is just simple plug and play and that will go straight to a cigarette lighter. And they also do give you a USB 2.0 off of that so you guys can still power your iPad and your iPhone and any of your Android accessories. And of course it is mounted to a windshield mount. You guys can just suction cup it right on to the vehicle. And when you guys are done using it, you guys can take it off. You don't have to leave it on there at all times. Now, they give you a set of instructions that are pretty straightforward and pretty simple. The camera is going to get hooked up to the power box, which has an antenna, and then the red cable is going to go to your reverse light or your 12 volt constant power if you guys want this to be like a trailer camera, like a lot of the comments said. And then you guys have a ground. A ground means a solid grounding point or going to a ground wire on the vehicle. So this is the camera itself. As you guys can see here, they did change the camera extensively. It's no longer the really, really cool camera with the uh, auto LED that turns on for the backup. Instead, it is a low lux camera, which means that as long as there is a star twinkling in the sky, this thing is gonna give you an excellent nighttime backup shot. And it's very simple. It has a 3M adhesive that you guys can stick on behind your uh, license plate. And this thing will be sitting in front of it just like that. Or you guys can use this hole right here to mount it onto a hole. So the choice is yours. And that is all going to one wire that will be plugging in to this little box right here. It says right there a camera. It's just gonna plug in just like that. And then from that, you have your antenna that's gonna be broadcasting the signal. And then you have the ground wire, which is this black one. And then you have the 12 volt positive red one. That's it. That's all the install you guys have to do. And it comes with the tappings. So you guys could just tap them to another wire or however you guys want to do it. It is that simple. There is literally nothing complicated within this whole box. Now let's go ahead and do the stress test challenge. And what do I mean by stress test challenge? You guys asked continuously. Can you guys use this as a trailer backup camera? If I put this on a trailer, will I be able to see behind me? Can I see behind me while I'm driving the trailer? So since a lot of people ask trailer questions, why not take America's best-selling truck, the Ford F-150, hook it up to a four-wheel trailer and put it to a full-blown stress test. This is the biggest trailer I currently have in my possession. So we're going to pair the two up give us some good distance between and we're going to go for a drive we're going to take a long drive we're going to take some footage of it and we're going to see how well does it perform under driving conditions and this is something that's really really important for you guys that do a lot of trucking for you guys that have a truck that tow a lot of stuff it's sometimes it's difficult to see behind the trailer um, yes, we all know how to install a backup camera on a vehicle now if you don't I do have videos right over here to help you out but we're gonna step it up today. We're gonna to go straight for uh, the trailer application and see how well does this perform. Most modern day vehicles will have on them a set of instructions of what do each of the seven prongs go to on the vehicle. 
Now on a Ford, it's going to be this bottom one is going to be your constant 12 volt power. So when you guys hook up your trailer plug to this, that's the wire you guys are going to want to tap. And also they do tell you which one is the ground, which on the Ford is going to be the one that's going to be farthest from your positive. So this is your 12 volt positive. This one up there is going to be your ground. So those are the two ones that we're going to be tapping for today's backup camera install. Now, if you guys don't have a seven prong connection, you guys do have a four plug. This is the four plug right here. And as you guys can see, uh, the first one is right signal. Next one is left signal. Uh, this one is reverse light. And then that is your negative. So there is no constant power going to this particular type of connection, but there is a ground. So you guys can tap that ground. And for the positive, you guys will just have to... Uh, wire a wire going to um maybe a seven prong connection that way it makes your trailering a lot easier or uh just consider upgrading to the standard seven prong or or you guys can run a new wire going from the vehicle and have a 12 volt layout in the back so that would be a benefit for you guys so let's go ahead get this truck hooked up to a trailer and then we'll be able to see how well does it perform the trailer that we're going to be utilizing for this test as you guys can see here it is a dually um, the total length from the camera to the cabin of the truck is 22 feet so we have 22 feet and i positioned the camera right here temporarily so you guys can see um, what the trailer can see now i'm just going to simply run the wire over to the connections of the trailer and that's something that I already told you guys how to know which ones to tap into. And then we're just going to get this thing on the road and we're going to see how well does the quality see. All right, guys. So with the uh, camera hooked up, I'm just going to go ahead and plug in this monitor. And it should automatically pair to it. And yes, it does. We have a crystal clear image. Now, keep in mind, it is pretty high right now because I just have it mounted on the trailer like that. So let's go ahead get this trailer in motion get this thing on the road take it up to uh, let's say 65 miles an hour and see how well does it perform guys we're on the main roads if you guys have never seen what Florida looks like this is what it looks like it's flat and it's full of palm trees right now we're going uh, 40 miles an hour and the video is still crystal clear um, my camera is right in front of the monitor, so if there's anything that's gonna be causing interference, uh, my camera will be causing it. I do have the monitor positioned in the middle of the truck. I tried to put it in the worst possible spot, so that way uh, nobody can say that, oh, it's close to the windshield, it's close to the window where it's easy for the receiver to get to it. So as you guys can see here, we're picking up speed. We're up to uh, 50 miles an hour, and the video quality is still coming in perfectly there is a very very minor delay I can't even notice it honestly and I can see that car that's coming up on my rear crystal clear I can actually see that he's turning over he's getting out of my uh, trailer spot so now he's going over towards my what would be my blind spot inside my trailer so now I can see him crystal clear over there on the right and I can see that his car is silver um, I can make out that it also is a Toyota so the quality on this camera is very very good now we're getting up to 60 miles an hour right now and at 60 miles an hour we are still having no negative effect the quality is amazing um, I'm really in love with how this is working out for my trailer camera and I have a strong suspicion that if you guys are impressed as much as I am right now this is going to be one really really good cheap backup camera that's going to be simple plug and play two wires and call it a day that you really can't beat that because i know a lot of people they they do want to have the professional wiring going to the original screen on the car but that can get expensive that can get up there in the price ranges uh, when i did my mercedes it was close to with the uh, aftermarket um, Android unit we were getting up there close to the $800 mark so it can get very expensive when you guys want to make it look OEM and professional but if you guys just want something for safety and something that gets the job done nothing is gonna come close to this AutoVox for the price point this is this is really really good 
and I'm very happy with it. I'm very impressed. Here we are coming up to my favorite car up there on the right. Oh my god, I would love to have a Challenger, let alone a, what is that? That's a 392? Yeah, oh yeah, I would love to have that. So um, this is a really, really good camera. I'm loving it. Um, yes, you guys can make adjustments. There's some of you guys, I can guarantee you, you guys are probably saying right now, well, Raymond, the picture quality looks kind of dark. Or, hey, uh, is there any way to turn off those lines? Is there, what, what, what can this LCD do? So let me just get up to this red light and we can explore some options here. Looks like, uh, yeah, you guys can turn off the guidelines. It's not touch screen, so you guys do have to use the little buttons. Just try to figure out how to use the little buttons right now. Yeah, this is something I probably should not be doing right now. So I'm gonna figure out how to exit this. You can see there's a series of buttons back here. M, OK, ah, there's an OK button all the way over there. Okay. So I know what some of you guys are saying right now. Well, why do I need a trailer camera? Why do I need a backup camera for my vehicle? Because this is also a very, very good backup camera for a car. Uh, this is 21 feet away from where the receiver is and it's performing extraordinarily well. So if this was a car, you'd be able to see the blind spot very, very easily. Keep in mind, we're inside a truck. Um, this is what the mirror looks like. There is no visibility back there. That's what that mirror looks like. There is no visibility. And then there is this mirror over here. And as you guys can see, I cannot see behind my truck. I can only see a little part, maybe a foot into the trailer. There's really no clear way to see what is happening behind me till I look here and I can see crystal clear anything that is inside my blind spot with the trailer and I can safely move my trailer around and not worry about getting close to anything. Now I've been driving a trailer for a long long time. We're getting close to about 10 years plus that I've been driving with a trailer so it's something that I'm extremely comfortable with and I don't necessarily need a camera for it. But for new people who are backing up boats, for new people that are getting used to how to use a trailer and they want that extra sense of peace of mind, this is a fantastic gift for those people this is a great uh, stocking stuffer for you guys out there and it's a it's a relatively inexpensive camera that works extremely well so let's go ahead put this inside the uh, trunk so we can see how well does it perform in dark conditions now I understand that this is not a LCD or a, it's not an LED powered uh, backup camera and a lot of people gave me a lot of flack last time that hey you know you need to have at least a little light in there a little uh, illumination that way it can pick up because it's a low lux camera so I agree and what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna put a little LED on a 12 volt battery inside the trunk with the car and the license plate and we'll see how well can it see with a very very low illumination assisting it and uh, that will simulate uh, nighttime street lights um, the moon uh, situations like that unless you guys live in the middle of nowhere where there are no stars there's no street lights there's no nothing this may not be your advantageous uh, backup camera but also keep in mind your truck and your car do have backup lights so those lights will be enough illumination to assist with the backup camera portion of it so let's go ahead get this thing back to the bay and then uh, see that test all right guys so here we're going to do the unofficial dark room test and the way that i'm going to do it is i have the camera right here it is wired to a 12 volt battery and here is the license plate we're going to see how much of this is visible in dark conditions the only thing that i'm going to be using is the very very low illumination led not even led this is old school filament bulb and uh, if it's still too bright i'll put some tape over it and make it as dark with a little bit of light as I can. So this is what it looks like. I'm back inside the F-150 and we have the camera about 10 feet away from where the truck is. And as you guys can see here, uh, the image is still clearly visible and that could be just because of that light bulb. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna black out that light bulb using some tape. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna use some tested tape to black it out. 
then we'll still see how well this is visible after that. Totally blacked out. Yes, it is on. Everything is plugged in. Let's see, if we go through and plug it all back in. It is on, and as you guys can see with it totally blacked out inside the trunk, there is zero visibility. So you do need some ambient light for it to work. It can be a very, very low voltage bulb, but it just needs a little bit of illumination for it to be clearly visible. And as you guys saw that previous clip, it was extremely visible. And there you guys have it. That is my official review of the new AutoVox wireless backup camera system. This is the W2. And if you guys liked it as much as I liked it, definitely check out the link down below. I do not have an affiliate account, so there is no money being made on my end. This is a genuine review. The only thing that was supplied to me was the camera because AutoVox is a longtime show sponsor. So I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed it. And if you guys are interested in winning this particular camera, all you guys have to do is tell me down in the comments section below, what will you guys be using this camera for? And I will pick somebody out when we get to 14,000 subscribers. So make sure you guys like the video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more content and more product reviews till I get my project car. In the meantime, take care guys and have an awesome day.